Another kind of variation we're going to discuss is about joint variations. The aim of this lesson is to illustrate situations that involve joint variation. Joint variation is the statement that varies jointly as x and z means y is equal to k times x times z. Remember that joint variation, it includes two or more variables to be multiplied into constant of variation. It is read as y varies jointly as x and z. Remember the clue word here jointly means you are going to join the two or more variables. Now we join the two variables here such as x and z by multiplying these two quantities. y is equal to k times x times z or you can solve for the constant of variation by cross multiplying xz to the other side of the equation y. So we can get the constant of variation y is equal to x times z. We just put xz here below y. Then we, it remains k or the constant variation here to, to the left or right side of the equation. You have to remember if the ratio of one quantity to the product of the other two quantities is constant, then they vary jointly. Now, I want you to translate each statement into mathematical equation. Number one, P varies jointly as Q and R. Number two, V varies jointly as L, W, and H. Number three, the area A of a parallelogram varies jointly as the base B and altitude H. Let's start with number 1. P varies jointly as Q and R. Now we are going to put P before the equal sign. Then jointly multiply this Q and R into K or constant of variation. It is written in P equals K times Q times R. Or, if we're going to find the constant of variation here, just cross multiply this Q and R here. Number two, V varies jointly as L, W, and H. Now, we have here three quantities, which will be multiplied into the constant of variation. First, Write V equals K, constant of variation, then the three quantities such as length, width, and height. In symbol, L, W, and H. Or, if you are looking for the constant of variation, just cross multiply these three quantities to the other side, which is V. So, it will be written into K equals V over length times V times height or L times W times H. Number three, the area of a parallelogram varies jointly as the base B and the altitude H. So write first A, the constant of variation, which is imaginary here. Then write down B, multiply B and H. Or again, cross multiply the B and H here so that we can solve for K. So, K equals A divided by B and H, or B times H. Joint variation. So, example number one. Find the equation where A varies jointly as B and C, and A is 36 when B is 3 and C is 4. So, first, you are going to translate this joint variation into this equation. So, we have here A, write down A, then equals, then the constant of variation, then since this is jointly, meaning you are going to multiply B and C. So, it is written in this form. Next, substitute the value of A 
A is 36, B is 3, and C is 4 to this equation. So, A is 36, B is 3, C is 4. Then, multiply 3 and 4. So, we get 12. So, we have K times 12. Now, to solve for K, you are going to divide both sides by 12. 36 divided by 12 and 12 divided by 12. So, we can get the K. Then, cancel 12 divided by 12. That is equivalent to 1 or it is K, 36 divided by 12, the answer is 3. Now, our constant of variation is 3. Then, we can write the equation of variation A equals 3 B C. All you have to do is to copy this equation here and then substitute the value of K or constant of variation that is 3. So, our equation of variation is A equals 3 times B times C. Another, if M varies jointly as P and Q, and M equals 50, when P is 5 and Q is 2, find M when P is 10 and Q is 6. Solution, first, you are going to determine the constant of variation. Okay, so you're going to translate this into mathematical sentence. M, write down, varies jointly, write K, then multiply P and Q. P and Q, because we join P and Q here by multiplying these two quantities. After that, we can derive the formula for K, or we can use this to solve for the constant of variation. You have to cross-multiply P and Q here. So, we have K equals M divided by PQ or K equals M divided by P times Q. After that, substitute the value of M that is 50. P is 5, then Q is 2. So, solve. So, we have 50. 5 times 2, the answer is 10. 50 divided by 10, we get K equals 5. Now, this is our constant of variation. Alright, we can now write the equation of variation, which is M equals 5 times P times Q. All you have to do is to substitute the value of K here to our given equation. So, just copy this equation, then write down 5 as the value of K. Next, we are going to solve the other problem here. We are going to find M when P is 10 and Q is 6. Substitute the value of P. Our P here is 10. Then Q is 6. Then multiply these three quantities, the constant and the two quantities. 6 times 10 that is 600, uh, 60, rather, 60 times 5, that is 300. Therefore, M is 300. Thank you for listening. Now, I will going to give you a quotation. Ultimately, the bond of all companionship, whether in marriage or in friendship, is conversation by Oscar Wilde. Thank you for listening.